Many of you are seeking answers. And I am the way for you, my children. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Is this Jesus? Yes, my son. Is this, this is Robert from Torrey Pines. I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Oh, crap. Man, I know. That was just, that wasn't good. But we're going to leave it at that. It didn't even ye, huh? It didn't even ye. But guess what? We're leaving it at that. I, it, it's so hard to ye with this thing. Oh, I don't know if YouTube. YouTube. Look what I'm sitting on. I have showed the chat already. I show uh, the Discord. Y'all know what that looked like. I stuck my hand in it on Discord. But, yeah, we're back with South Park. We're back with South Park. Y'all thought I was going to stop, huh? Oh, he ain't going to. He did the first two episodes 80 days ago. No, we're back. We about to do these, get them consistent. We almost done with Boondocks. We got like four episodes left. Um, I've been reading some of the comments on this. They say season two is where South Park really hit its stride. Where they get different writers or something. So, is that true, Discord? Season two is when South Park hit the stride? That's what I was reading on YouTube. But, other than that, I'm talking, hey man, uh, I'm a little... <laughs> My mind, cra the Discord talk before the, we got on has been crazy today. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know what's in the coffee or what's in the water. But it got to be some sugar in it. Whatever it is, it's sugar added. Because the chat has been going crazy. I got to do some head of things after this. But <clears throat> neither here nor there. We got South Park, y'all. Don't be mind that. Load up. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Those things help. Other than that, we about to get into it, man. We, we ain't got no more time to wait. Let's get it. Now you be careful, Eric. The woods can be very dangerous. Okay, Mom. Ready to go hunting, Carmen? My Uncle Jimbo says we got to get up there early. That's right, Stadley. Animals are much easier to shoot in the morning. <laughs> I brought my old war buddy dead to keep things safe. Oh, Mrs. Cartman, how are you today? Use lots of bug spray, and if you have to poo-poo, don't wipe with poison ivy. Just remember, mommy's not far away. <laughs> guys, guys! Give your mommy a kissy. Mom, <laughs> stop! <laughs> Killing me in front don't of the guy. Don't get screwed up in your mountains, Cartman. Shut up! <laughs> Maybe your mom can give me a kiss, too, Cartman. <laughs> That's disgusting. Let's get that testosterone flowing. <laughs> I want you to understand a few basic rules of hunting since this is your first time. Don't ever walk with your gun unless the safety's on. Second, don't shoot anything that looks human. Third, never spill your beer in the bullet chamber. Uh, Uncle Jimbo, we don't drink beer. I like chocolate milk. Well, we'll be doing plenty of drinking on this trip. Hunting sober is like fishing sober. <laughs> he gonna get a kid's beer. Well, here we are. Okay, each of you youngins take a gun, a beer, and some smokes. Smoke. I didn't get a gun. This is like the gun I used in now. Where are you stationed in the name? Carmen always makes stuff up, Ned. You can't believe anything he says. Look out, son. That's dangerous. You're gonna spill your beer. <laughs> You're gonna spill your beer in your chamber. I can't laugh at the thing. That's kind of wrong. Hunting in Africa. That'd be cool. My mom says there's a lot of black people in Africa. Watch Boy, it. Looky there. That there's a Rocky Mountain <laughs> black bear. Isn't it beautiful? It's coming right for us. <laughs> oh. oh. Smokey. Hey, it wasn't coming right for us. Now that there's just a technicality. The Democrats have passed a lot of laws trying to stop us from hunting. Democrats piss me off. Before we shoot something, we have to say, it's coming right for us. Oh, it's a deer. It's coming right for us! <laughs> Kick ass! Where are you gonna rock it on? see that? Oh, rabbit, rabbit, five o'clock. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, Let's five o'clock. I'm starting to have flashbacks. Oh what? Stand forth. Look out for Charlie's up in the trees. This one's yours, Stan. It's coming right for us. It's coming right for us. It's coming right for us. That's wrong. I can't. I don't want to shoot the bunny. You're hysterical. No doubt your body's going to be a tree hugger. Yeah, hippie. <laughs> Go back to Woodstock if you can't shoot anything. I'll kill you. I'll fill you full of lead. How did we get here? Shoot the animals, not each other. <laughs> what the heck is this? 
Yeah, Frank, it's uh, Randy. Yeah, listen, the uh, the little needle is moving. Yeah, it's smoking. Yeah, uh -huh. it's smoking. Oh, really? Oh, my God. A volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. My weenies won't cook. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to use the old Indian fire trick. <laughs> yeah, bird. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. Mm. Yeah. But you see, Mr. Mayor, you can't stop serving <laughs> Salisbury steak. Mayor, the geologist is here to see you. Tell him the infection is fine and I don't need another checkup. No, Mayor, that's a gynecologist. A geologist studies the earth. How dare you insult my intellect? Just send in the geometrist. Geologist. Mayor, we've got a very big problem. Mount Evanston is about to erupt. Well, this graph shows everything from normal to bad. South Park is here. God. Mayor, some of the school children are up camping on that mountain right now. Ted, I want you to get on the phone and call Inside Edition, Rescue 911, oh, and Entertainment Tonight. Don't worry, things are under control. They call him E.T. We spent three hours looking for that damn arm, but it was never to be found. <laughs> <laughs> he sound like a robot. Hey, Dad, have me that gin. <laughs> he did sizzle. You boys want to tie one on? Can't you have a little alcohol? Christ! Look at Jimmy. that little bastard go! Now that is a dirty little bastard. Hey guys, I know a scary story. Ever heard of Skizzlebutt? What a what? What a what? It's a creature that lives up on this very mountain. It loves the taste of blood. On his left arm, instead of a hand, he has a piece of celery. Celery? Yes. One of his legs is missing, and where his legs should be, there's nothing but Patrick Duffy. Damn it, Carmen, that's not scary. What do you mean? Have you ever seen Step by Step? No, I don't know who Patrick Duffy is. Carmen, you suck at telling scary stories. I don't know who Patrick Duffy is, y'all. My is bad. That? Maybe it's Scuzzlebutt coming to weave us into wicker baskets. I hope he doesn't cut me with his celery hand. <laughs> <laughs> Goombaya, my lord, goombaya. Boom, someone's yeah. crying, Lord, goombaya. They don't see how they Lord, like it when they actually goombaya. see Scuzzlebutt. Oh, Lord, goombaya. Stan, wake up. What, dude? I don't know where Cartman is. They're out fishing with Kenny. What a beautiful morning for fishing. There's one. There's a fish right there. Great instincts, boy. Cartman's missing. I guess we better go look for him. Dad, we gotta cut it short. Fire out to 1220. I think that's about the limit for our fishing permit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a kid as cool as you, Kenny. They kill all the fish with the. Hey, that's a quick way to catch fish, y'all. Dynamite fishing. Whew, I'm gonna try that. Ticking time bomb of hot lava waits to engulf these people and end their miserable lives with one last <laughs> fleeting moment of excruciatingly painful burning agony. What are you doing to prepare for this inevitable catastrophe? Our children are camping on that mountain and. Uh, I'm sorry, can I start over? Huh? Well, you can edit this, right? Ready? No, we Three, lied! Two, one. Some of our children are up camping on that mountain. We can't do anything until we get them. Come on, everybody. You gotta help the children. We gotta help the children. Hey, Chef a real one, man. He be he really care. There's not many animals out today, Jimbo. It's almost like something funny's going on. Christ, Dad, what'd you have for breakfast? I don't know, man. I've got some bad gas. There's a ram! It's coming right for us! Nice! <laughs> Here, you need a bigger gun. The rams suck anyway. I am Scuzzlebutt. Holy crow! We can make a mint kill in this thing. We'll be on the cover of Guns and Ammo. Fire in the hole! What the hell is wrong with you people? He got celery in his stick. <laughs> Form groups and search the mountain. Report back here every hour. You got that? Well, if we can dig a very large trench, and then it would bypass South Park pretty much completely. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, people, change of plans. Half of you grab shovels. Oh, my God, Randy is a genius. I'll bet that sucker's headed for a higher elevation. The higher up it burn! <laughs> Look, up there! <laughs> Gotta get out of this stupid costume! I can do it, Uncle Jimbo. 
I want to bag that animal. That's the spirit, kiddo. As we near the top of the mountain, the chances of our encountering some lava becomes great. I have special ordered this training film to assist us in volcano safety. Mr. Garrison, if you would, please. Bob, Brady, and Garrison Bob out here. Of can do it. What should you do if a volcano erupts near you or your family? Here we see the Stevens family enjoying Sunday picnic. Daughter, here's a noise. It's a volcano. Jane learned in school what to do when you hear a volcano erupt. Duck and cover. <laughs> Duck Looks and like cover. you got the idea. Duck and cover. Got it. That has got to be the most ridiculous load of pig crap I have ever seen. That's enough out of you. I'm gonna bag a scuffle butt, then we'll see who's a little bastard. Come on, Stan. Kill it. Give me that gun. God damn it, don't shoot me. You can put the gun down now. Mm, so much for the cover of guns and ammo. Yep, her. Whoa! It's blown its top! Come <laughs> on! It's blown it! Kenny! Oh my god! They killed Kenny! We see you next episode! <laughs> Quick! Duck and cover! <laughs> that lava is coming right for us! The duck and cover I did didn't work! <gasps> What the hell is this trench doing here? We can't get across! God, please deliver those darling kids from... Wait, 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 wait. Three, two, and... This guy's a much real? Oh my God, look at his leg! Kids, I'm TV's Patrick Duffy. <laughs> Quick, man, shoot it! Out of ammo. I'm sorry I got you all killed. Scuttlebutt looked like Cartman a little bit. Guzzlebutt <laughs> saved the day. And Guzzle my calculations were Where exactly does the canyon go? Uh. <laughs> South Park is saved. South Park is saved. Rest in peace to Denver. <laughs> I'm getting word that the chef of the school cafeteria wants to sing a song about this thrilling struggle of humanity. Hot lava. Hot lava. Hot lava. lava. Mayor, what do you... Hey, the chef got the ooh, dude. The chef got hits. Oh, everything to this friendly yet misunderstood creature. Thank you, Scuzzlebutt. I did it! I did it! Turn off the cameras! Hey, that was easy. Why, God? Why? <laughs> Damn it, Stan! You shouldn't have done that. Stan, some things you kill and some things you don't. See? Here come the rats. They love Kitty. <laughs> Dude, I don't understand hunting at all. Yeah, it's stupid. Let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, cartoons kick ass. Cartoons are so much better. Cartoons are so much better. Oh my god. Y'all. I tried so hard not to laugh at that, that voice. <sighs> Cause I understand that you know that's the that's I know I get I don't know I think I'm t I'm being too damn sensitive I'm t I should laugh I know it's jokes oh my goodness Whew. that boy said <laughs> I can't even I don't even want to recall it y'all we're just about to get into the next episode okay Kumbaya my lord. Kumbaya. Man, I can't. That, we're not supposed to laugh at stuff like that. We're going to go to hell laughing at stuff like that. Oh my gosh. I, that was some of the funniest stuff. And he was. He sang the whole thing. He just kept singing. I was putting all that extra stress on his voice. I said, Stop. Stop, Dad. Just chill. Leave it at Kumbaya. We uh, we get it. Oh my God, dude! Let's get into the next episode. Hey, where's the school bus? Hey, Sparky, who's that? That's my new dog, Sparky. Good boy, Sparky. Who's my best buddy? Who's your boy? Who's your buddy? You're making me sick, dude. He's the toughest dog on the mountain. No way. Everybody knows that Sylvester is the toughest dog in South Park. Oh. He's not meaner than Sparky. Look like Tasmanian devil. Sparky will kick his. I'll put a dollar on Sylvester. We need Michael Vick That's here. It, Sparky, kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing something to it. Oh. He's not kicking his ass, but he's definitely doing something to it. Sparky.
Sparky, I think your dog is gay. What do you mean? That dog is a gay homosexual. He's just confused. Well, that just a dog. I don't Extremely know what just excited, happened. excited, nervous, and anxious about the homecoming game against Middle Park. But just remember what I taught you. Football is like making love to a really beautiful woman. You can't always score, but when you do, it makes all the trying worthwhile. <laughs> That's knowledge. They don't know it. They're going to learn later in life. Pip, what is it? Well, I still don't have a helmet. Sorry, son. Now get your ass in there. Take the damn ball! <laughs> hey, how's practice coming there, Chef? I don't have to remind you just how important this game is. You think we have a shot at beating the spread against Middle Park this year? What? What's the spread? Middle Park by 70 points. <laughs> Atta boy! Great pass, Dan! We gotta get our asses to the bookie. <laughs> okay, we'll see you here again tomorrow. Hey, Stan, isn't that your dog? Uh, my dog Rex follows me to football practice all the time. Sparky, get down! Sparky! Oh my god, what is he doing to my dog? Make him stop! <laughs> Maybe you should name your dog Sparkette, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Simon were not brothers in real life, only on television. Thank you for that presentation, Eric, but the assignment was on Asian culture. <laughs> Who should we call on next, Mr. Hat? Well, how about Stan? Okay, Stanley, you're next. <laughs> um, Asian culture has plagued our fragile Earth for many years. A minus. Aye! Wow, cool! How does he get an A minus? Stanley just might lead our team to victory against the Middle Park Cowboys for the first time in decades. And we treat star athletes better because they're better people. That's not fair! Life isn't fair, kiddo. Get used to it. <laughs> athletes got treated so special in school. Can I ask you a question? What's a... Homosexual? Well, Stanley, I guess you came to the right person. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Gay people mm. are evil, right down to their cold black hearts. Do you understand? I guess. Good, I'm glad we could have this little talk. Now you go outside and practice football like a good little heterosexual. <laughs> you guys see me block that defense today? Here comes Stan's little... Doug, shut up, dude! Where'd you get that pink scarf? <laughs> Sparky taking stuff from other dogs now? He just needs some training, that's all. Sit, Sparky. Good boy. Now shake. Good boy. Now, don't be gay. Don't be, don't be gay. <laughs> Did it work? Hey, still looks pretty gay to me. <laughs> hey, Stan, your dog been to any pride marches lately? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should take him to a Barbra Strasand concert. <laughs> Stupid little gay dog. Gay dog. Come on, you guys. I have an idea. Oh, oh a Lord, they're killing on Sparky. The South Park cow. My nephew Stan is the best quarterback the school's ever seen. I'm gonna put all my money on the cow. Well, I guess I'll put three hundred on the cow too. Hey, I, 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 you better be right about this, Jimbo. Are you sure Stan is that good? Well, I think we better come up with a backup plan. Hey, Bucky. What, what's the halftime show gonna be? John Stamos' older brother, Richard Stamos, is gonna sing Loving You. Middle Park's gonna get a halftime show they'll never forget. What the heck he gonna do? No pink bandana, Sparky. Bad dog. Now pay attention. This is Fifi. Atta boy, Spark. Get her. Get her, Sparky. Yes. Sparky. Oh, crap. Who cares if your dog is gay? Maybe it's not that bad. My mom says God hates people. I know. Mr. Garrison said that homosexuals are evil, but maybe Mr. Garrison is wrong. You should ask somebody else. Many of you are seeking answers. And I am the way for you, my children. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Is this Jesus? Yes, my son. Is it, this is Robert from Torrey Pine. I called last week asking for advice on my ex-wife. I just wanted to thank you for the advice. Blessed art thou, Robert. Next Blessed caller, thou, you're on Robert. the air. Imagine being able, able to call Jesus. I have a dog, and he's a... He's a homosexual? A lot of people have wondered what my stance on homosexuality is. So I'd like to state once and for all my true opinion. You see... That's all the time we've left for ah! Jesus and Pals. No! Now stay tuned for Marty's Movie Reviews. Jesus! Damn it! I need to know. Say? Isn't there anybody who can help me? We have to get to practice. No, it's not okay. I don't want a gay dog. I want a butch dog. I want a Rin Tin Tin. Sparky. Oh. Now, children, we've got to handle the ball oh. better. You've got to hold your football like you would hold your lover. You want to be both nurturing and clinging at the same time. Be naughty with the football. Chef turned everything it sexually. Chef! Oh, uh, sorry, children. Uh, <laughs> let's run some plays. Pip, we still don't have a helmet for you. He be doing Pip dirty. It's put a trigger on that bomb that makes it go off at a specific moment. John Stamos' older brother is all set to sing Loving You during halftime. We want that bomb to go off when he hits that high F. It's easy because you're beautiful. beautiful. Do -do -do -do.
You want the trigger on the doot and do? No, damn it. <laughs> on the doot and do? You seem down. I just, I can't concentrate because my dog is gay. You know what they say? You can't teach a gay dog straight tricks. <laughs> you what? of all people should be sympathetic. What do you mean? Well, you're gay, aren't you? What? Well, you sure do act like it. I just act that way to get checks, dumbass. That work? Well, I don't know where Sparky is. He usually follows me to football practice. Sparky! Big gay house, big gay animals! <laughs> Hello there, little pup. I'm Big Gay Owl. Well, then I'm so glad you found my Big Gay Animal Sanctuary. Would you like to live with us? Nobody will ever oppress you here. Have you guys seen Sparky? He still hasn't come back. Did you check the shopping map? Ow! We'll help you look for him after the game. Come on, Ned. And keep quiet. Okay. Hello there, Enrique. This year, we're gonna booby trap it instead. And when John Stamos' older brother hits that high F and loving you, boom! No more Middle Park players. Damn, I love football. <laughs> That's Sparky, not football. <laughs> where are you? Hello, everyone. This is Frank Hammond at South Park Public Radio AM 900. Welcome to tonight's matchup. Come on, Stan. Go in, Pip. Chef. If Stanley doesn't show up, can I use his helmet? No, Pip, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Pip ain't gonna never get no playtime. <laughs> he remind me of me trying out for football. I have to quarterback, Kyle. But I never practice quarterback. Filling in for quarterback is number 12, Kyle Broslovsky. Where is little Stanley? They've got Enrique on their sidelines. And it looks like that bomb's still attached. Hi, little fella. How are you doing today? My gay dog ran away, and I was wondering if maybe he came here. We have all <laughs> sorts of gay animals here at Big Gay Owls. Over here, we have a gay lion. Roar. And we have gay water buffalo. Wow, seems like the animals here are really happy. It's the one place where gay animals can really be themselves. The gay lion said, Roar. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pound your head in. We'll just see about that. Set. Damn it, Carmen! Carmen! Come on, cow! We're gonna delay of game penalty! The ball is snapped. Middle Park blitzes. Touchdown! Middle the score Park is 7 huge. nothing. Middle Park with 14.57 remaining in the first quarter. Well, I haven't seen a beating like that since Rodney King. Now, Frank, that's oh, not very oh, PC. Oh, right, right, hey, I, I bro. I gotta watch that. We yeah, lose our watch money because of your nephew. We're gonna hang you up to dry. Hiya, Sparky. How's it going? Come on, let's go home. I can still make it in time for the game. It appears you still don't understand. With just over a minute to go in the half, the score is Middle Park Cowboys 52, South Park Cows 0. Yeah. Oh, they <laughs> Okay, Stan, I think you should get in line for my big gay boat ride. My big gay boat ride? They got a big gay... Um. On this adventure, we'll be seeing the world of gayness throughout time. <laughs> There's the kick. What? It's taken by number 23. He's at the 50. Oh, the 40. Hold him, hold him. The little running back oh. is down. I think he's... How did the rats get there so fast? Yes, he's been decapitated. Oh, my God. They killed Kitty. You bastard. Hey, come on. That was roughing. At least let us scrape him off the field. <laughs> Gainus has existed since the beginning of time. Uh-oh, look out. It's the oppressors. Oh, gosh, that was close. Okay, let's steer our big gay boat out of here and into a place where gays are allowed to live freely. Gay means happy and happy means gay. We're not sad anymore. I'm sorry I tried to change you, Spark. I just didn't understand. Oh, this is so hard. The not laugh. You know what? I'm laughing. Who is the one and only Ooh. John Stamos' Hurt brother. trying not to. We are gonna get our ass kicked. Obvious where all the talent in that family went. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Big Gay Al. When you get back to town, tell them about us, will you? I will, Big Gay Al. I will. And these South Park cows are being absolutely <laughs> molested by Middle Park. I haven't seen so many children molested since. <laughs> we all put our life savings in this game. Yeah, Dad. It's Stan, the South Park star quarterback. Now, I haven't asked you for much, but all we need is one little score. I'm open, I think. He throws it to Kyle, the little Jewish kid. I haven't seen a Jew run like that since Poland 1938. Dude! <laughs> Touchdown! Dude, he's seen everything. Final score is Middle Park Cowboys 73, South Park Cows 6 beats the spread. It's really cool that we beat the spread against the Cowboys. And maybe we can beat them even more next year. And it's okay to be gay. What? 
What the hell is he talking about? Oh, Stanley, you <laughs> arrived very late in the game. I was with my new oh. friend, Big Gay Al, and took me on a big gay boat ride where I learned all about the wonders of gaiety. I'll show you. But it was here. It was all right here. There. You need to lay off the cops here, right? Seriously. I want to thank you so much for bringing everybody here. How's it going? I'm <laughs> super. Thanks for asking. Now my work here is done. What the? Goodbye, Stanley. Peace be with you. Wow. You guys, you guys, I can do it. No! <laughs> oh my goodness, man. I, I don't even... I'm sorry. I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't say nothing. Um, Man. Dude, I couldn't say nothing to p this whole episode. I don't know. <clears throat> The gay stuff is so political, man. I don't even know if I should be laughing. You might have some people in the comments like, "This, that's not." I, see, that's crazy how the world is today. I'm scared to laugh. I'm literally sitting there holding it in, my gut just wrenching, because I want to get this out on YouTube, but I don't know how people gonna feel if I'm laughing at some of this stuff. It's so funny. It's a joke. They're jokes, guys. Uh man, <laughs> like I wanted to say, I, I want to say certain jokes and stuff. It's just jokes, but I would get like, like when he got into the, when the bag opened up for Big Gay Al, I was about to say, dang, Big Gay Al got a big gay bag. But if I say that, if people going to be like, oh, he's me and a homophobe. Like, no, I'm not. I, was, <sighs> I don't know. This stuff, uh, <laughs> you got to drink carefully with this stuff. It was so funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It was it was funny. Whew. Man. How? How did this show not get canceled? Now, if this show came out today, do y'all think the show would be able to last? With the cancel culture today, if this show came out today, this episode right here, it's over. All right, hopefully I didn't offend anybody. <laughs> Look at me worried about offending people. <sighs> I'm out of here. Till next time. Hey.